After graduation, engineers always wonder about good job opportunities. But it is important to know about the chain of command and working environment before you select an organization. And if you have shortlisted Juniper as one of the prospective company and want to know about the organizational structure, then you are in the right place. In this vlog, you will get to know about the technical positions and the respective salary packages in Juniper Networks. Let's begin with a short introduction to the company. Juniper Networks is an American multinational company that develops and markets various networking products like routers, switches, network security and management software. It is headquartered in California as an employee strength of 9,400 as per 2019 statistics. Without further ado, let's explore the technical hierarchy in Juniper. As an engineering graduate, you will be recruited either for the IT and design department or software development. Most times the workers are switched between these two job categories. Thus, there is no clear hierarchy. Unlike other IT companies, Juniper doesn't follow band system. Here is how the chain of command in Juniper is estimated. As a fresh graduate, you will be mostly recruited as an intern software engineer. There is no defined responsibility for this job. Here you would be trained to various works and processes. It is more like a training period and the average annual salary of intern software engineer is 5 to 6 lakhs INR. After the training period, you will be officially recruited or become a part of the company as a software engineer one. Most of the software engineer roles and responsibilities are the same. They are classified into three types based on their pay, skills and experience. The average annual salary of software engineer one is 10 to 12 lakhs INR. After a year or more experience, you will be promoted to software engineer two. Here is where you would get real work and assignments. You will mostly work under the guidance of a senior engineer or executive and the average annual salary of software engineer two is 15 to 18 lakhs INR. So the next step in the ladder is software engineer three. It is a senior position where you will gain deep knowledge about the software development process and enough experience. In some branches, this category is used as an alternative for the senior software engineer. The average annual salary of software engineer three in Juniper is 20 to 35 lakhs INR. Next, you will be promoted as a software staff engineer. This position is also called the staff engineer. It is a technical position that can fall under the categories like tech lead, architect, etc. Mostly there would be only one staff engineer in a particular branch or organization and the average annual salary of the staff engineer in Juniper is 40 to 50 lakhs INR. After getting enough experience, you will be promoted as a senior software staff engineer. It is a senior most position that involves software development. A senior staff engineer can also lead a team or serve as a head of different projects or product development. They supervise the workings of other software engineers. The average annual salary of senior staff engineer in Juniper is 60 to 65 lakhs INR. On top of the technical grading is a software engineering manager or a product manager. This position is more based on the administrative or management side. A product manager will meet and communicate with clients and staff engineers and formulate the plan of software development and improvement. They should also have technical knowledge to understand the concepts, but they are more focused on the final output than involving in the development process. The average annual salary of software engineering manager in Juniper is 50 to 55 lakhs INR. Apart from the positions or designations discussed above, there are many other technical positions 
like network engineers, test engineers, and QA engineers. But there is no clear definition of the hierarchical position they fit in. So this is how the complete hierarchy system looks like in Juniper. Please note that the organizational structure explained here is based on the best of our knowledge and understanding. However, there can be variations and changes with the changing dynamics in a company with time. If you are preparing for your next job interview or joining Juniper in a short while, then all the best wishes. I hope you must have gone through the other vlogs in the series. Many more are coming soon. So please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to keep yourself updated with the upcoming videos.